Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I wanted to talk about the, the news that came out yesterday about Isle of the Dead, which had a lot of people super excited about it. And honestly, for me too, like I was really excited about it. I was kind of unsure about it. And then today I went and looked and did more research on it. And it is totally official. Like we actually have some really great details on what this show is actually going to be about. And man, I'm so excited for this show. Honestly, I'm so excited for Isle of the Dead. I, I really think this show out of, I know the Rick and Michonne show, like that's the thing too. Like all three series that are, that are starting next year are, are you know, they have this really unique aspect to all of them, right? Like I think the Rick and Michonne show, it's dealing with the CRM and all that. And I do think it's going to go for multiple seasons. Like the, literally the press release says it's beginning with six episodes, blah, blah, blah. People have confirmed it after. Afterwards, like even with all the dead and the Daryl spinoff, like they haven't even confirmed a season two or said anything about it. Right. Like, I, I just I think with these shows, they don't renew it for season two or three right away. Right. Like, I think next year at Comic-Con or once the episodes air, they'll say, yeah, it's been renewed for season two for like all the shows. Right. But I think at the preview special, we are going to learn some more details about that. But we'll talk about that near the end of the video here. I think with all three shows, like I said, the Rick and Michonne show has has i guess more of the the appeal of rick and michonne right seeing them again and just sort of exploring that it's going to be a lot of fun uh the daryl show has you know it's set in europe and so there's a lot of questions i have about that like why is that set in europe and what the hell is going on there right so a lot of, a lot of questions i have there and then there's isle of the dead that is set in new york and we learned a lot more details today about what exactly the setting is going to be in the circumstances they're going to be in once they actually do make it to New York, and it just sounds so insane. So before going any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want more Walking Dead content like this. Also, definitely go follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. But let's actually get into this news here. So this actually came out in an article by Variety. I'm going to leave a link down below to the article. In the article, they actually go into a bunch of stuff, but more than the article... There's actually a podcast, and if you go to, like, the 15-minute mark, 16-minute mark, or just around there, and just kind of listen for the next, like, five minutes, five, six, seven minutes, or whatever, you're going to hear the AMC uh, president, I believe. Or in the article, it says Chief Dan McDermott, so he's the chief of AMC Networks. I I don't know his position, but anyways, obviously, he's, he's up there, right? Like, yeah, but he gave a really, really interesting description of what Isle of the Dead is actually going to be really focused on. And the one thing that he said is obviously it's focusing on Maggie and Negan, and we're going to see them go to Manhattan. A lot of what he said is is really fascinating because it does sort of go into some of the origins of of just what the government did in the very beginning of the apocalypse. He said that there's going to be about one million zombies in Manhattan, just literally like the ground is covered in zombies. Uh, the government blew up all the bridges at the start, um, and so 12 years later, you have people here still, obviously. Walkers are overrun just all over Manhattan, literally cannot go on the ground anywhere. So Maggie and Negan are now visiting this community, or they're venturing out. And this community, or this the civilization of people, I guess, they're sort of forced to live on rooftops and or buildings. And obviously, they've grown their own gardens, their own food and stuff on, on like these rooftops and whatnot. And they have the zip line from like building to building to travel. And man, when I heard all that, I was like, okay, this is a spinoff I'm excited about. Like <laughs> seeing this and continuing the story in the way that they're doing it in terms of re reuniting with Rick and all the all this bigger stuff here. This is what I've been really wanting from The Walking Dead for a long time. And like, like I, I like the story in The Walking Dead right now. Obviously, I, I really do love that story, but. This is the stuff that's exciting. This is the stuff that I want. I want to see Rick again and Michonne again. If they're going to do spinoffs, I want it to be like this. I want there to, them to be in Manhattan. You know, you're going to see like the Statue of Liberty or whatever. And you have to zip line from building to building. You know, like I want interesting communities like that where they literally cannot go on the ground and they're sort of trapped there and forced to live there. The government blew up all the bridges and stuff, and so they have no way to sort of leave. Or maybe they have left, but this is just sort of home. Maybe some people, you know what I mean? I, I don't know how, how, how they're going to explain all of it there, but it's something that, like, man, like, you hear about that, and that is, like, this is a spinoff right here. Like, this is what you do for a spinoff. And, like, man, out of all three spinoffs, I know I have this, like, bias towards Rick, and I'm excited for it, but I want to see this so bad. This is... This actually sounds like it's going to be really fun. This is going to do a lot for the overall story, and I'm really trying to think of how they're going to do all of this, right? 
because the, the assumption is they know that Rick is alive, right? And that basically after they go and try to find him, it's going to be him or Michonne or, or, or something like that. Somehow they're branching out the universe here. And so it's like, how does all this make sense? I mean, the assumption I have is that there's like, I, I do think they're going to be looking for people. You know, Norman Reedus talked about his show and the fact that he was looking for people and that there's people that are missing and maybe he runs into one or two of them. I don't think that's going to be Rick or Michonne just because of, and that's what I mean, that's kind of confirmation right there that we are going to be getting more seasons of the Rick and Michonne show, just because I'm trying to think of it story-wise with the Daryl show. Like, Norman Reedus even said that, like, they, they, he wants to do, you know, Daryl and Carol stories. The Walking Dead, when it ends this year, it's not the end of stories for Daryl and Carol. And so, obviously, she, you know, Melissa McBride doesn't want to take a break. She's not going to be there for season one. Uh, maybe season two or maybe season three, right? So it's obviously at some point in the future, whenever she decides to, whenever she's, you know, it'll be awesome. Honestly, then we could all hype up the return of Carol and that'll just be so much fun. It'll be so exciting. And just having Daryl and Carol reunite, like that'd just be so cool. Kind of like season five again, right? Like that'd just be super awesome. And, you know, at this point, Daryl will probably be in a really stressful situation. Like, yeah, it'll just be really cool to actually see that. But if the Daryl show ended in a way where he found Rick and Michonne and then and then obviously and like it just makes no sense story wise. Like I think the people that he might run into, it could be Rick or Michonne, but it might be in the, in the next couple of seasons. Like it might not be in the first season. It's just kind of a lot to assume that he's going to run into Rick or Michonne and then in the Rick and Michonne spinoff. Like, they're going to do that and Rick and Michonne story there. And the next season, like, Carol's never going to run into Rick. Like, they're not going to do that. Like, it just, there's this whole CRM plan. You know, if Daryl and them are going after them, whatever, dealing with all of that, it makes no sense to end Rick and Michonne's story just, like, happily ever after they go back to Alexandria. Or maybe one of them dies or whatever. But still, like, they're going to be in the fight. So, it just makes sense story-wise. Unless they're planning to end it all and they're scrapping all the CRM plans. But that's just, that's that's not happening. That's clearly not happening. So, I just just for the people who are worried about it, I'm just going to say that. But I saw some people posting some stuff online saying, like, this is phase one, phase two, or whatever of the Walk Dead universe. I thought that was so cool. I would honestly, like, I think I would put it as, I think, phase one was sort of like season one of The Walking Dead up until, like, season nine of The Walking Dead. To be honest, you could even argue it was a little bit beforehand, but I would say up to season nine, and then you would include some seasons of fear in there. Then I feel like season, or phase two would be from, like, se certain points in season nine or whatever up until basically the end of The Walking Dead here, because that was sort of the Angela Kang era, and a lot of things changed. There was, like, this, you know, a lot of CRM stuff. We got the show's World Beyond. Uh, they're even it kind of coincided with a lot of the world beyond stuff on on Fear the Walking Dead, and I think you know with the Commonwealth finding out Rick's alive, this net ending the show. I feel like this should this really should end Phase Two in that sense, and then Phase Three is going to be the spinoffs and going further and just sort of seeing where that goes. Honestly, I really feel like they should call it that. I know that's sort of call or copying Marvel. Like I get that. But man, it would just be, it's like, everyone's doing it, right? Like, everyone wants to build a universe out of their movies or television shows. And so it's just, yeah, I think that um, this is going to be incredible. And I think the preview special is going to shine some more light on what's going on with all of the shows here. I think we're going to get a really good understanding on what the universe is going to be like going forward. And uh, I'm excited. Like, this is going to be really big for Isle of Dead. Can you Could you imagine seeing a million zombies just, like, all throughout Manhattan? They're all, I guess, in buildings, and then they, they're forced to sort of zip line from roof to roof. And just the whole thing there and what the drama is going to be. It, it's six episodes. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be honestly really great. And I just, I'm just wondering why they're going there. Why are they going to this place? Like, it's, it's something that I'm just, I'm so hyped about, honestly. I, I'm so excited for this show. I think this show is going to be really amazing. And I hope they do renew it for season two, which I'm guessing that they probably are all, are already, right? I'm sure that'll be announced once the once the show's actually over. Because man, it, like just that story there is just it's unreal. It's unreal to think about. I mean, just the idea that the government blew up all the bridges, and and we have seen some of these things in the past. We've seen some of this stuff in World Beyond. This stuff matches up with things that have happened in the past. Remember in Atlanta, they they sort of dropped napalm everywhere. You know, they, they wiped everything out. And I think that was the government's response to what was happening with the walkers and the zombies, right? Like, they were just like, well, we'll just take all this stuff out. And I think in Manhattan, it just got really crazy where they thought, well, let's just blow up the bridges and maybe they'll stop some spread. But obviously, just sort of overall, it really didn't. 
Though, if you think of the CRM and the overall powers there, and we learned some stuff with some of the higher-ups with, like, Major General Beal and whatnot, and we learned of, you know, the powers that they had, that, that they got from the government, basically at the beginning of the apocalypse, it, it kind of, you're looking at all of this, and I wonder if the people that are stuck in Manhattan right now, if the people responsible for that is the CRM, right? And because the CRM is basically the old government, they're a version of that. I'm sure there's some people who have sort of crossed over. I mean, the old government really doesn't exist anymore. And I do think the major power now uh, in the United States is the Civic Republic. And based off of what they did in World Beyond, you know, like wiping out a community and all that, it, it does really add up. It does make a lot of sense here. And man, I, I do think I, I really I'm, I'm just excited for All the Dead. I think it's going to really explore a lot of the, a lot of the history here of The Walking Dead really get into some really cool stuff here and yeah start exploring this crm storyline because that's that's where we all want to be we all want to be at that point and we're going to be we're literally going to be there next year where they're all sort of dealing with communities that have been affected by them and learning more stuff about them and yeah we're getting rick back next year right so yeah this is going to be a lot of fun again the preview special is in like a week and a half so i'm going to do reviews on it this and that i'll likely do a twitch stream and stuff sort of reacting to everything so yeah, definitely post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you do want more Walking Dead content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.